Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We're going to be looking at some new games, some old games that we could before that progressed nicely, have betas and early access for us to be able to check out. Uh, we're going to talk about some free-to-play tournaments that are available for you to be able to play. And we also are going to be just taking a little brief look now at the Watch to Earn Rewards. If you don't know I'm aware with this, with this channel, we give away rewards uh, for every sponsored video that we do. Uh, so we give away $100 dollars each and these are some of the winners that have won over the past uh about a week and a half uh we've given away 650 there was a double one before one of our shiny ventures guild nft holders um so yeah if you are, are looking for some free money as well watch some of the videos enter the watch code in the comments and follow the instructions and you'll have a chance to win those as well but for today's video we're getting into some non-sponsored stuff so let's get into it and of course another hot projects feature undead blocks because this is probably the best free-to-play, play-to-earn game out there at the moment in terms of quality, in terms of running tournaments that are exciting, interesting, having diversity within the weapons that you use. Yeah, I think Undead Blocks is going to do really, really well. And for anybody who wants to play this game, free-to-play access tournaments are going throughout September. So 2nd to the 5th right now, we're going to hop into a MP5 Massacre. We've got another sponsored competition the 9th to the 11th September, 16th to the 8th, and September the 23rd we have a question mark. Sponsored by somebody else, it looks like they're running another tournament. I reckon they're probably just waiting for another sponsor, or it's a, a big sponsor which they want to put with a big announcement. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying they, they are, but like imagine if you got Binance because we're listing our token on Binance. That would be amazing, but who knows? And this is great because I think it's they're obviously fueling these tournaments through getting sponsors um, that the sponsors get some it back because it builds awareness around their project and the project obviously gets to do these tournaments without impacting on the price of their token. So definitely well worth getting to. Let's get into our MP5 massacre, see if we can do it better. Last time we didn't finish the MP5 um, massacre. We, we had 20 seconds left. Uh, another thing also to mention is that this got uh, put out today. Uh, as each day goes by, under a growing number, but new ways to protect yourself against the horde are coming. What secrets lie in the blood box? Now we have these question marks and sevens, which are like slots. So maybe it's going to be some random perks, some random gun in there. Who knows? But I'm excited to see that they're adding these new little things in the future to the game because that's what made call of duty just go from a really really good concept to an awesome game when you had you know pick a perk and things like that and the the, the mystery box which spawned out things like laser gun so yeah really excited for that stick with the rule right if your health goes below 50 50 or below shoot forward only shoot forward Did it! I finished! 392 kills. Not what I was aiming for. I was aiming for 420, but it was better than what I did before. I could definitely have done better because on that round I said, right, so it's a good diet. I'm going to have a safe round where I mainly shoot forward. And I was shooting forward, running from the hit. That's a really good way to, to get um, just safe kills. And actually complete it. I would recommend just hip fire running forward and, and you get a lot of headshots that way. I actually got my um I actually got my perk 
at 2,000, 24,000 points. So I could have had it way sooner than that. And that would have been 10 kills or easy, I reckon. But still, I was targeting 420. And that's not a, still not, a, you know, you're not going to get a significant amount of gold books for that. 420 is 12.5 gold books. I get like one extra gold book, not even that. If I manage to reach my target at 420, it's doable, definitely. Um, there's just so many good people out there. But if you have got time and you enjoy the look of this game, it's definitely one to, to get involved in. That is Undead Blocks. Next up, a game that caught my eye, Hash Rush. This currently has its beta available for you to download and play. It won 2018 Gamescom Best Innovation Award, which is pretty respectable. And they, they currently have some gameplay out that we can take a look at. It is a real-time strategy game, mass multiplayer online, uh, with play and learn mechanics alongside of it. It's in the fictional Hermian Galaxy. I really like the artwork. I think first impressions are looking really good in terms of quality. The trailer looks really good, great quality as well. And we get a little insight into the two new game modes that they've got. So we've got dungeon mode and standard mode. So standard mode looks like you're building defenses to attack your enemy when they come and try to take you down. The mix of using buildings and units. Here we see um, different units that you can select to build your army. This is good because it's going to really have that skill element to it. So depending on the enemies you're facing, I imagine some units will be better than you might want to leave out. And as they progress through the dungeon, we can see them making progress. And yeah, I think it looks like something different. Free to play on Windows at the moment. You can download the game at hashrush.com. Uh, I'll put the link to their Twitter down in the description below. We have a game store available. So we, there are some NFTs that you can pick up. So Comic Hero skins, Comic Heroes. Um, if you go to the marketplace, there's a bit more available. So we have a special Vorto key available. Um, some skins. You can buy a comic uh, for $150. Looking at the prices, range, you know, stand at $4 for a skin, um, $6 for a special. Uh, I think they're reasonably priced. Definitely in this market, as I say, anything below $100 is, is, is generally where things should be aimed at in this bear market. Um, so yeah, I think it looks like a strong project. Go check it out. You can download it if you want. Yeah, so this is a project that I'm, I'm quite excited for. I think it looks really, really good. The quality of the artwork is brilliant. And it's definitely one that I will keep you up to date with. We'll follow it, I think, and as the game progresses into full launch. Uh, but that's Hash Rush. Check it out. Next up, we have a dedicated video coming on this this week. Petal Rush. They will have their demo launch on the 8th of September, running to the 15th. So you can check this out and play it if you like. It is a racing game, but with pets instead of like your cars, your typical cars. So if, just if you want to see some concept art, here we can see some of the designs for the characters. It's going to be playable on Android and iOS. So as we can see here, it's going to use some patterns some colors to be able to decide the skills that you use in a race, which will have the impact on how fast you run, max HP, things like that that you'll need in the game. So this is a game that I quite like the look of. It looks different. I do actually have some game footage, which I'm not sure I'm able to show until I release the video. So I'm going to show the dedicated video uh, at some point this week. I imagine they'll want me to release it before the demo, maybe around it. Um, we'll see, but check that out if you want to see some actual gameplay. There's a lot of different variety in this. There will be different game modes, qualifiers that you can compete for tournaments and actually win NFTs, wireless spots. It'll be well worth getting involved in the beta. It'll be free to play, uh, but it'll give you some entry into it if you don't have the money to be able to invest. Another update on a game that we've covered a while back, Axis Metaverse. So we are now uh, past beta one and everything looks good i've had a game play on it if you haven't tested it out go check that out in a previous video that i did a little update on a game that we covered a while ago axis metaverse everything's progressing nicely so we're moving through the beta where we've been testing it and they have these upgradable perks that you can you know as the more kills you get you can upgrade and you know, battle royale style one person will win there's three different classes that you can get and we have got the chest opening probably coming fairly soon and um, where we'll actually find out what chest we've got i know a couple of people 
bought them when we did the original sale um or when they did the original sale and we advertised it so yeah i think this could be very cool it's, it's built by an ex really experienced team that have worked in mobile game development for a long time already have some successful mobile titles so yeah i'm really looking forward to this so i have my two chests genesis elf chests ready to open you can pick these up off marketplace already uh floor price of these is 148 us or busd um for a genesis human chest of chest 139 so you can pick some of those up if you haven't got this and you like the look of this metaverse you can download the uh, the game itself and play it so check it out see if it's something that you like before purchasing anything uh we also have staking coming up so be aware that there will be a mining camp for the tokens of ams and the higher the rarity the more you'll get it's sort of a, hash, a legend of love way higher hash power bigger minimum and maximum and yeah this is going to be cool something to do with our Passive if it's from passive income from our NFTs that we're not using at the moment is a good thing when we get that opening and then hopefully we'll be able to play the game alongside that very, very soon. So check out Access Metaverse if you haven't already. Okay, so next up we have Aurori because they are one year across from when this game developed and yeah, they have this trailer released which is awesome, you know, bringing that real to life feel to it. Um, Kind of going with the Pokemon, I've seen the Pokemon film, very much similar in terms of them walking around in real life. Uh, kind of brings with is they're going to be an uh, augmented reality aspect of the game. That would be great. Uh, we haven't had a quality augmented reality game in the NFT gaming space. Um, but for, the, for now, in the beta that they have, available, which you can download, web free so you don't need to download any uh unzip file zip file uh and risky everything with security with that um yeah it's available to play i'm going to show some of the gameplay in a bit let's see yeah so here's the augmented reality there so if you want to see what the gameplay is like for this they've uh they do have a beta we can see bryson playing it there uh let's check out their one year anniversary trailer type thing one year ago it began so we've got a, a battler here where you got nefties which is the equivalent of pokemon um that you can see using certain damage certain effects you have a board which you're playing on so movement and positioning will play a role in it adding a little extra element of skill to it uh, we'll go through all the features that they have so obviously they progressed fairly well in terms of nft sales and um, their token launch have a new ranking center, a ranking system, esports, full economic loop, spectator mode, and challenge, art upgrades, land sales, tons of token utilities, several Aurori IP based games, and largest gaming project. So, this is a huge project on the Salon Network. I love it for the Salon Network, and the whole design and neon feel to it just fits so well. So, you can download this game right now. So, you can play it yourself if you want to test it out. Uh, so, if we could play now, it is Web3. Don't have to download anything um, directly to your computer, like a zip file. You can just click play now. So we'll take a look at that in a bit. They do have a marketplace available, which is where you can pick up the profile pictures that they have. These are pretty expensive. Um, but with the token coming down in price, the Aurora token, they're not as much as they were. So we see the Aurorians at the cheapest. So there's only six items up for sale. There'll be other uh, platforms you're able to, to buy and sell these on as well. Um, but yeah, ranging over a thousand dollars, current price of Ori being 1.78. Ori has been hit by this bear market. We had an all-time high of around twenty dollars plus, and now it's come down to one dollar seventy-eight. So pretty significantly. Uh, but I reckon once they start adding more utilities in it and future projects uh, built building on this, I think we could see some improvement on that. We've got skins available. We've got some nefties for sale so you can actually buy some of the the nefties straight up without having to hatch them uh so if you take price look at price high to low I mean, <laughs> highest price we've got bite bit there shiba ignite so i'm guessing some of these ones will be a lot rarer and more priced but you can go to the um 
the collections and pick up some eggs that you'll be able to hatch as well. So Nefty eggs will only cost 2.50 Ori, so it's about $4.5 to be able to get one of those. Uh, they're going to have collectibles in the game as well that you can use and miscellaneous to the Grand Bazaar. So let's take a look at the game itself and go play now. So here we are in Aurora. This is the Nexus, a blockchain crosswords that traverse the space between worlds of Antic and Tokane. Okay. Can't do it without you. And you can't do it without keyboard or control. So you can use keyboard or controller to play the game. Remember, you can always access the controls in the right corner at any time up here. We have settings. So I've been already had a little trip around. Um, this is where you can take yourself to some of the beaches outside. So swapping currency. Um, if we click that, it will take us there straight away. If you want to pick up some tokens, we have the uh, little nefty egg incubator, which you can be taken to through there. Here we have the central computer. So if we click on this, we'll be able to proceed. VIP status confirmed. And then we have opened up a portal. So if we interact with this, do you want to go to Kitty's Tavern? Take me there. So the load up. Just what we need for a tavern. Owned and operated by Kitty. Then the Kitty King calls it Prince Tavern. Everyone else, it's Kitty's. Come right in. Always room for one more. This is my place. Keep it civil out front, but if you're down for a scrap, I can let you in the back room. That's where you can test yourself in Nefties against other Aurorians. If you need some practice, I can set you up against the dummy squad. No risk. Fight in. At... Let's go for PvP. Ready for the show. Okay. Choose your nefties. Number nine. I like it. Bite bit. One bite bit. I like the sound of dino bit, but too much bit. Dip king now. She big knight. Yes. Got anybody else that might. Zuzu. Let's go for number eight. Okay, let's do their stats, some of their skills that they can use. Let's confirm. Waiting for opponent. Okay, we've matched up very quickly with somebody else. Which is pretty good, being that it's only an early access. Not sure what we're waiting for. Okay, so it had some troubles there. Let's try just against AI. I want to bite a bit. And I want... Shiba. Ignite. Okay, so here we have it. Play field looks really cool. Opponents taking their turns. We've obviously got to think about positioning of our units when attacking. I have no idea what people's skills are and stuff, so it does. So. Okay, move ability. So perhaps we could move behind here. Um you I'm going to move there I don't know what these these tiles do I'm going to try and what what would is that for sure over there if you stand on anywhere near that okay no evidently not we get hit we getting hit Oh, it's because he went that way, so he landed on that block to get there, didn't he? Silly. So, I want to attack. Oh, how do I attack? Why does he not have the ability to attack? It's, it's gone. Oh, maybe we have to position ourselves on the tiles to collect. Oh. I don't know. Hmm. So these tiles obviously do things. Why did nobody attack him? Can we go try and pick up another one? Power stones. No, I'm not picking anything up. Yes. 
อา้าวอาร์ไรท์นาวอ่ะคุณจะต้องใช้เนี่ยเป็นการใช้ไม้ไฟแล้วก็ลากสตันส์จงไปกับคริชเชอร์ในเวลาแล้วก็ฮิตเดอะล่าสต์วันนั่นแหละก็พร้อมที่จะเข้าไปในการต่อสู้ก่อนเลยพร้อมที่จะเข้าไปในการต่อสู้ได้ไหมวะยูไรชาวบอนชาวสตาร์กิ้งพุชเนื้อไว้ด้วยมดรดามิจ Any hostile moving in the direct vicinity will be painfully shown the way out. When the lion is about to get hit, the creature will jump in and rescue. Okay. Any hostile moving? I'm gonna go for that. Ground control. Oh, get out! How much if you just keep hitting him? Frontline worker. Okay, don't know what that does. Probably not good. Teleport to an empty location in a. If a creature fainted there, you can move and use an ability again this turn. Oh, going behind them, sneaky, and then moving. Oh no, I didn't move. Didn't move in time. Attack. Yeah. No, stay there. Uh, he didn't get to go. Oh, place the flash dance. Ah, got you back. Oh, wait, he hit his own guy. Why? Why did he hit his? What's that all about, man? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yes, we killed somebody. Okay, okay. Can you get the health? Oh, it does count as health. It just keeps having this ability. Soap under it. That's not helpful. But he can't attack. Okay, but he's getting health in that position. Big bark. Any nearby creatures is huge. Boom. Okay, that that ability is fire. Devastate to him. I can still move there. Oh, bouncing claws! Jump on a target dealing damage depending on its missing health. If the target is down. Repeat the action on another target. Boom. Okay. Do I get to repeat it? You're downed. Maybe I'm not in range of any other targets. I can't. I mean, they're all gonna die. So I can, I can do that, and then I can do it again because somebody died there. I don't know why he can't use any of his other abilities. Seven. I suppose he's got seven. He needs to pick up more soul stones. Clearly. Oh, you can move things through things. Oh, yeah, look, you pick loads up. Oh, that, that guy died in the process. Jump over creatures in line and hit the last one, if not I. yeah. Big rock, you're all gonna die. Think I'm gonna win? We <laughs> killed him. Didn't died in the process of hitting him. That's it. We've done it. We have to get to the other side. Oh no! There we go. You win. We won our first game against AI. AI, AI sucks. Yeah, it's cool. It's a it's a battler. Um, we've seen obviously a lot of battlers in the NFT gaming space. So 
but this was one of the initial ones that was created. I think they've had the, obviously they're building a much more higher quality battler and that means that it's taken a lot longer. So we've had loads of battlers during that time. Um, but yes, yeah, it's got strategy, it's got skill, the positioning, the movement across the board, that's what makes it uh, as an extra layer of skill, I think, that will make it more interesting, and more strategic and more and more inviting for people to be able to play competitively. Um, so yeah, that's Ori. I'll put that the Twitter link in the description below as well. You can check that out down below. Okay, so that's Ori. You can check it out. The links to this will be down in the description below. And I think we'll leave it there for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe to keep up to date with future content. We have another hot projects for you next Monday. That is all for this one. See you guys soon.